Yo, what's going on guys? It is me, Amazek here. And today, I'm going to show you the tutorial video from Ben TK, Magic of London. The one that the intro that he has the 3D smooth camera movement in Splash. That is the one I'm showing you right now. What you're going to do is bring your footages. And after bringing your footages, make sure to trim that footages into the best segment you have. Bam, bam, bam. After that, you want to do is bring in your ink splash. You can find this on internet. Let's do an ink splash overlay. And for that, you can download for it. So I'm going to trim right now and that looks good for me and one do is go to luma inverted map okay after that it looks like this it's very cool right and what you're gonna do next is Control shift c to pre-compose make sure to take the second one and one do the rest of the footages the same thing one do pre-compose it and after that you need to animal 3d and also a new camera to activate the 3d movement and after that, you want it to change the view mode to top. After that, you see this is a top view mode, and it looks kind of like nothing. So what I'm gonna do is take, uh, click one of the footages and drag it back. Make sure to put in the position of your liking. So that's my position of my liking. The same for the the rest of the footages, and I think that's kind of cool actually. The ending will be something like this, kind of cool, right? Okay, so you want to do is click on the camera. What I'm gonna do is not do touch anything actually. You want to touch camera option. The focus distance is the distance between the subject and the background, so make it more blur. And the aperture is how blurry it is. You can play this uh, any number you want. So I'm gonna just put a random number, playing around with the 4K of the 3D camera, so that it looks really cool actually. Uh, make sure you don't really touch any of the transform from the camera because this will ruin the magic of the 3D smooth camera movement. You don't touch any of this. So what you gonna do is new and no loud jack so the no loud jack is the one that you need you need to keyframe it to make the movement i know it's kind of silly but this is how you get a 3d smooth movement after that you want to do is you pair in the camera to the no loud jack after that you can do your smooth camera movement so right now i'm trying to do a, a simple push in and this is the one i'm doing so you need to have the next uh, no loud jack so make sure the no loud jack must be above the no object previously it must be overlaid to order to have the 3d smooth movement and need to parent it and after you parent it you want to do the same for the rest of the footages make sure to overlay it each other i recommend you overlay like half of the no object so right now you want to is to timeline and change the speed graph this is how you're going to look like the speed graph i'm going to keyframe the speed graph this is how it looks like it's kind of small actually right here you're actually quite fine actually it's quite good already so right now i'm trying to improve the footage more better so i'm trying to put a rotation so you will move while change and right now i'm going to do a shake so the shake into a null object i change it to shake you need to parent it again so to order to have shake you need to go position and need to have a expression i put a simple wiggle this wiggle doesn't do that much so i'm going to add a bit more wiggle I'm gonna do adjustment layer and I'm gonna put a uh, motion blur because there's no motion blur there's only a uh, blur so to order to the motion blur just type CC force motion blur and from that I can play around you don't see any difference but this little difference makes the footage a bit more realistic with the motion blur so this is how it looks like the motion blur that's how the end video gonna looks like so that's it guys if you guys um, like this tutorial make sure to give a like and subscribe if you are new to this uh, channel because this is the first time i'm doing a tutorial oh yeah and maybe you guys should also tell me what tutorial you want me to see me do next because i have no idea what tutorial to do next actually so i will see you guys all later in the next video ciao